Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm the Deployment Guy here with another video of people just starting their journey with Microsoft Intune. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate the Intune Enterprise App Catalog. This is basically a catalog of common apps that are pre-packaged by Microsoft that self-update. It's going to be a relatively quick and easy demo as it's pretty straightforward. Okay, before we crack on, can I please ask that if you find the content of this video useful, please like and subscribe to the channel, as doing so really helps me continue making these videos and grow the channel. Okay, so to use the Enterprise App Catalog, you've got to have the correct licensing. So on the Tenant Administration, under Intune Add-ons, if we expand the Microsoft Intune Suite, you can see here it comes as part of that. And it's also an additional Enterprise App Management add-on. Um, for the purpose of this video, I've taken out the 90 day trial, as you can see here. Okay, so once you've sorted your licensing out and assigned it to all your users, the next thing we need to do is add the app. So I'll select Apps, Windows, and then we're going to select Add. Uh, from App Type, we've got all the usual suspects in there. But if we look right at the bottom now, we've got Enterprise App Catalog App. So we're going to select that and then select. We're going to search the Enterprise App Catalog. And if we're looking here, we've plenty of useful apps like 7 Zip. We'll just scroll down. We've got all the Cisco apps in there. We've got stuff like Google Chrome for Business, Google Drive, Microsoft apps like Power BI Desktop, Firefox, Notepad. Uh, I think for this demonstration, what we're going to use, we'll scroll back to the top and we're going to use 7-zip. So we'll select that and press next. Select that and then we're going to press select. Okay, so one of the good things about the app catalog is that all the information is pre-populated, such as name, description, publisher, app version. If we select next, as you can see the install command pre-populated with the silent command switch. Uninstall, same again. We press next. So the operating system architecture and the minimum operating system, both pre-populated. And same again for the detection rules. So we'll select next on that. Scope tags, this is optional for your environment. Select next and then select add app. Okay, so that app's now been created. And if we go back into apps on the left hand side and then we select Windows we can now see that 7-zip is there and it's not been assigned so we'll click into that and go to the properties Wait a few seconds as you can see we're now greeted with a nice blue banner saying your app is not ready and if we scroll to the bottom it's, everything's greyed out and we can't assign this app just yet so whilst we wait for the app, I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's ready. Okay, so that app's now ready. As you can see, the blue banner's gone. And if we scroll down under assignments, we can now select edit. So we're going to add it to a group. So we'll select add group. And then in here, if we scroll down, I think we'll add it to devices, staff, and devices student. Select that. Select Review and Save, and then Save again. So as always, the synchronization can take some time, but once it's synced, select Apps, Windows, select 7-zip. If we look under the device status, click into that, you can see there's two devices. This bottom one is the device that I'm currently on. So in the Start menu, select All Apps, and there we are, 7-zip file manager is now installed, and we should have to launch that as normal. There we go. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, deploying an app from the Enterprise App Catalog is super easy and straightforward. Once again, if you found the content of this video useful, please do like and subscribe to the channel. This has been the Deployment Guy. Thanks for watching.